so let me let me start by giving some context on what we have here so i have a, a hasura 1.3 instance running here which is populated with uh, chinook data set and i i stood up this hasura instance using a docker compose setup and uh, it also has a corresponding uh, cli project uh, which uses config v2 uh, which is which should be very familiar uh, it has the metadata migrations seeds directories and if you look under uh, the metadata directory we can see uh, all the metadata related to the different metadata objects that hasura supports like tables functions query collections etc and uh, so if you look at the tables or yaml file it sort of contains all the uh, metadata related to the tables that hasura tracks and uh, one one uh, one problem that you might notice uh, already with this approach is that once you have a uh, comparatively or considerably large number of tables that you are tracking and you have uh, you know a bunch of metadata for each table then uh, this file becomes large very fast and that sort of have been a problem for many of the users uh, according to the feedback that we got so uh, config v3 tries to address uh, a couple of solutions or a solution for this particular problem and also uh, some uh, uh, general improvements which which should come with uh, the new features that we have introduced in 2.0 so uh, so that's that's there uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly uh, update my uh, hasura instance to use the latest alpha uh, to find oh uh, that, that, that is not expected alpha dot alpha dot six so i'm going to do this up so it should uh, it should bring up uh, it should i should have probably added a minus d to to uh, start in a start in background so it should be up now let's uh, let's look at the console yeah so we, we can see that we are using the latest alpha and we have our data intact right so one thing that we have to uh, or we have to notice is that is that there is this thing called databases now so from 2.0 uh, hasura supports adding multiple databases to your uh, hasura instance and also one thing to note here is that so if you are starting hasura uh, with uh, the graphql hasura graphql database url in your variable uh, the 2.0 instances will start uh, in a backwards compatible mode and since uh, hasura sort of uh, has the ability to connect to multiple databases now it needs a method to identify each of these databases right so when you when you connect a database you can provide a name for the database right so in this backwards compatible mode that hasura starts in it 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 names that particular database that you connected using the 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 environment variable that you normally use is named default here and why uh, we are point, pointing this out here is uh, because of the reason we'll come to it in a bit uh, but just keep that in mind the 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 normal the default so the database that you add using the uh, particular environment variable called hasura graphql database url is named default right so now if if i go into my project and uh, since i know that there is a new config uh, version out there which has some improved features uh, i can use a, a utility um, scripts sort of a command uh, on the hasura cli to sort of update my project uh, to config v3 which uh, where the cli will uh, will will ask you or will uh, tell you a couple of things that you have to take care of before you go on to the upgrade process which are basically uh, you have to you know create a backup directory for your project before you are upgrading and also uh, it tells you that uh, during the upgrade process the cli sort of treats the server as a source of truth so you have to make sure that your metadata is up to date on the server and also uh, your migration state is up to date so uh, once we have that you can you can see that you know let's let's continue then the cli ask you so I, I found this certain migrations and seeds here and which which database does it belong to 
this is because we we uh, Hasura now supports multiple databases, right? So CLI sort of has to be aware of what database what database particular migrations or seeds belong to. And as I told earlier, uh, the so we have only one database connected, and it is called default, right? So I'll say it belongs to default, right? Then uh, the CLI goes ahead and updates your project. And let's see uh, what are the changes that has happened into my project. Right, so the, the high level uh, directory structure stays the same. Uh, we can see that the config version has changed uh, to three. And if you look at the metadata directory, we can see that uh, we have, we see this, we see some familiar files, uh, but we see, uh, but we notice a new directory called databases, uh, uh, which is sort of expected because we have multiple databases and there should be some metadata objects, which which tell uh, which which denotes that in the Hasura metadata, right? So we have that in the databases directory, and if we look at the databases.yaml file, uh, we see that you know I uh, it, it it contains the metadata related to the particular database, or the or or all the databases that you have connected. Uh, so here we have a database called default, which is of kind Postgres, and it has some configuration data. But the thing that I want uh, to want to denote or you know want to uh, highlight here is the two uh, uh, the values of the two keys called uh, tables and functions so if it, if you look at the values of these keys it sort of has a special syntax or a special directive to it called include so this is a new sort of uh, sort of thing which was added in config v3 uh, it, it, is, it is sort of a directive to the cli uh, to you know uh, uh, include or so is the particular so is the value for the key tables from a file called default slash tables slash tables dot yaml. So it basically tells the CLI that you know uh, if you want to look at if you want to get the value for this particular tables uh, key, look at this particular file. And if we look at this particular file uh, default slash tables slash tables dot yaml, it is a array. And we can see that each element of the array has a similar syntax. And it tells us that the first element of that particular array, uh, you know, the value for that particular element comes from a file called public albums or YAML. And if we look at public albums or YAML, we see that it contains a metadata for that particular table, which is in public uh, schema and it is named albums and it has the metadata related to it. It, 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 it can contain all the metadata like even triggers, uh, permissions, et cetera, for that table. So this sort of addresses the problem that we had earlier, right? Um, instead of cramping all the metadata related to tables in a single file called tables.yaml, uh, we can now uh, separate it out into separate files, which, which sort of becomes easier uh, to manage. So this is sort of the primary change that uh, config v3 uh, you know, brings into picture. Um, so currently, uh, this particular directive is uh, supported only in uh, keys called tables and functions. Um, so similar to tables, functions can also uh, uh, make use of this particular uh, new uh, kind of directive. Uh, that's sort of the major change that has happened to the metadata directory. And uh, for the migrations directories, the change is not very uh, you know involved as metadata changes, the, the changes that occurred in the metadata directory. The only thing is that since you have multiple databases, you have an option to connect multiple databases to your Hasura instance, the migrations can now be separated into different uh, subdirectories for each of these databases. For example, uh, if you have, let's say, sources S1 and S2, then uh, the migrations for S1 will be in migration slash S1, and uh, for S2, it will be in migration slash S2, similarly for seeds. So that's sort of the high level changes that has uh, come into uh, config v3. And also uh, a point to note uh, here is that, so if you're running config v2 and uh, you're not planning to use, uh, uh, you know, more than one database on your Hasura instance, you can continue to use your config v2 uh, based project. It, it's fully backwards compatible and it should, it should work fine. And, uh, but, but I will hi highly suggest um, people to upgrade to config v3 uh, to take advantage of the new features and improvements.